Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with another video on my most recent Drift City video, the first one that I put up for playing it offline, so you can just play it by yourself. There were a couple people in the comments that were asking how to do it, because setting up the server and playing it as the multiplayer game can be very difficult for those who don't have the knowledge or the skill to do so. So I wanted to show you guys how to set up an offline server for Drift City so you guys can just play it by yourselves inside the inside the world and go from there. So it's very easy to do. If you actually just go to Google. Do, 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 do. I know why this is slow. Disconnect. So I, I knew why that was going slow. My VPN was still turned on. Um, so you just want to search Drift City Offline. You're going to end up coming to this. There's definitely a couple different threads, but the easiest way to get to it is you'll probably see it down here, DC Offline Mini Race. So you want to click that. If that doesn't come up, you can also just go straight to RageZone.com and just search DC Offline or Drift City Offline, or just actually go to the physical section and you'll be taken to this post. So it's very easy to actually set it up. So I'm going to, as you can see, I have it right here, already extracted and downloaded. <clears throat> I'll download it again just to show you guys. But uh, this is the server. And then if you scroll down, this is the game client. And I'll make a post on um, techx.onl on how to download this and play it as well where all the links are in one place with credits to the people who released it so as you can see you come over here I already obviously have it downloaded which is really nice so I'm just gonna do save and it's gonna download kinda slowly only because it's you know the first time and I'm gonna make a new folder in here just for you guys so you can see exactly how to do it so you go folder and just name it tutorial and you want to extract this here. My computer's going excruciatingly slow, but that is okay. It's because of the download over here. So as you can see, there's a driftcity.exe, there's the rice folder, which you don't need to worry about, <clears throat> and there's the start.bat. So what I like to do in this instance is I want to edit this. Come on. Actually, we're not going to edit it that way because it'll make my screen go black and you guys won't see anything. So we're going to go edit with Notepad++. And right here you'll see this. So you want to do DC slash and hit save. From there, make a DC folder for Drift City. This is for the game client, which you just downloaded right here. You need to copy everything, control A, drag it on over. It'll only take a second, depending on your computer. Drift City is pretty old, so pretty much anybody at this point should be able to play it on any computer that's probably within the last three to five years very easily. You just gotta let it extract, let it go. Let it go. Let's do one of those question things that I normally do at the end of my video. I'll do it like halfway through. I always like to ask you guys what I should have for lunch at work on a certain day. So let's go with, I'm off tomorrow, so I can't ask you guys what should I have for lunch on Monday. Let's go with Wednesday. What should I have for lunch at work on Wednesday? I can't have shellfish, keep that in mind. I can't have fish, keep that in mind. Anything else? Almost free game. So Mexican food, Chipotle, which is like Amera Mexican or whatever they call it. Americsican. I don't know. Um, I gotta, I, I'm avoiding hot sauce finally. I had a hamburger with ghost peppers on it and it almost threw me into a hospital trip because my stomach hurt so much. Um, all right, so since we're done with that, now you'll see there's already a driftcity.exe in here that is 
two and a half megabytes. You want to either delete or just rename this one. So what I usually do is I do rename and I do dot orig, O-R-I-G for original. And you want to copy and paste this one into this folder. There you go. Now all you have to do is you just run this start.bat, which I don't know if that's going to cause me issues. As you can see, it starts a server. You can actually uncheck these. Just hit cancel on them because it's not really a server anyway. And as you can see, it's going to start loading. And Drift City will be playable in an offline state that anybody can play. And the way you log in is the username is admin, the password is admin. I'd like to find a way around that. I'd like to be able to set my own username. I believe the source code for this is public. So admin, admin. It'll log you in with the password hash and everything. Just click the server you want, enter game. And you're all set. So you're able to play the game offline. Definitely Mario Karty. I still have no idea how to upgrade my car, but there you go. Now you're in offline Drift City and you'll be able to play this pretty much any way you want. You'll be able to do all the missions offline. You'll be able to do races offline. I'm not far enough into the game personally that I know really how it works. I'll be real. <laughs> I don't know much about the game. I didn't play it when I was younger, which is why I'm playing it now. Um, there are ways to mod this game which are really cool and once I start understanding that maybe I'll make some tutorials for you guys I'm not doing the city entrance that's gonna be annoying we'll go here because I haven't actually done this yet oh it didn't want me to do that but as you can see there we go that simple so I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. Like I said, within the next couple days or maybe even couple hours, I'll get a post up on techx.onl with all the direct links that you need all in one place rather than having to sort through the uh, different posts and things like that on Raid Zone. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.